Hey guys. So I wanted to make this video to really quickly before the sun goes down show you this hastily thrown together gun that I made with my old Red Ryder BB gun. So uh, sitting around bored, um, wanting to shoot something as I usually do, and uh, I just found all these parts laying around in my house uh, that were suitable for making this gun that uh, can shoot marbles. Um, and I normally shoot marbles out of it, but today, since I can't find any marbles, I'm going to shoot a AA battery. It has some uh, electrical tape wrapped around it so that it'll fit inside the barrel. Um, so the way this works, I have a piece of aluminum here. This is actually an aluminum deck baluster, and uh, it just so happens to be the perfect size for uh, shooting marbles. It marble fits in there perfectly with just a little bit of wadding or a uh, AA battery with some tape wrapped around it. It fits in there perfectly. And uh, I have my Red Rider BB gun. And uh, on the end of the BB gun, I have a PVC plumbing pipe fitting. Um, it has threads inside of it. The threads have nothing to do with the gun except for that they hold the barrel tight. All I do is just shove the, um, this extra barrel on the end of that and I put one of these loads in there. And these are actually 22 caliber loads that I use for a um, extremely high power nail gun at work. I use it for driving nails into concrete. And um, these are almost the highest power ones. The highest power ones are red, these are yellow, these are just one step down. And um, what I do is I take one of these loads and I put it in the back end of this tube. And uh, inside this tube, I actually have an old um, barrel from one of my like cheap plastic Springer airsoft guns. And uh, it's just about 22 caliber. It's actually a little bit bigger, but the rim holds it in there. And so this just slides in there perfectly. And then this goes into the end of the BB gun. And those threads hold it in there tight. I don't have to thread it in there. I just push it in, and it's a pressure fit. And let's see. To load the battery, I just push it in there. You see how it fits perfectly. Push it in, and then I'm going to take it and shake it, just shake it down the barrel with centrifugal force. And then I'll take one of my loads and put it in here. And this is actually, um, this barrel, this inner barrel is held in there with um, electrical tape and uh, expanding foam sealant. I put it in there so that on this end, it's, uh, it extends into the barrel about this far. And uh, the hole will be in the center of the barrel because I wrapped it around so that it would be centered. And then on this side, I put it so that it would be on the edge since this is a rimfire cartridge so that when I shoot it with this, you know, what the way I'm... Uh, the way I'm detonating these is, you know, it goes on the end of the gun, and then I shoot it, and the BB hits the rim of this, because it's rimfire, and it uh, makes the cartridge explode. So after I do that, it's loaded now. I can take this and just push it into this pipe fitting. And that's a pressure fit. And now we shoot it. So this is what it looks like when it's uh, fully assembled, I, su I suppose you would say, um, with the barrel stuck into the end of the pipe fitting. And now I'm going to shoot it. And what I'm going to shoot at is this coffee can down there. It's about, I'd say it's about 18 to 20 feet away. Let's see if I can hit it from this far away, but I don't know.